Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to be doing the best and worst of the days of our lives. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm going to be talking a while. <laughs> so I'm going to, oh, my hair. I want to do the best and then the worst on different videos. This one is for the best. And I guess I should um, say this ahead of time. This is what I enjoyed the most about Days of Our Lives this year. This is my opinion, not me stating this is what everybody else in the world is liking. But I think some of these, based on um, my interactions on Twitter and Facebook, that a good amount of fans, well, at least the ones on the internet, have been able to enjoy some of them. <laughs> Sorry, my allergies are acting up, and I have zero idea where my allergy medicine is. And I look hella fucking tired. <laughs> I just woke up like maybe an hour ago. <laughs> but, anyways, enough of the intro. I'm just going to start talking. These, um, also let you know that these are not in any particular order. They're just what came to my mind. I took notes. So, whatever came to my mind first is what I'm talking about. But, um, I will start with one of the current storylines I'm really enjoying, and that's Marlena being possessed by the devil. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I know it's gotten a little mixed reviews, but I see a good majority of people really been enjoying it and um it brought back some old um days watchers to um to the show because they enjoyed the first possession so that was good i really enjoyed it and how it came about because it started off as doug um you know forgetting stuff or whatever and everybody's like, oh, he's going to get dementia. And, you know, it's a great story to usher off um, such a legendary character. But it was kind of sad. <laughs> but then it turned around and found out that he, the devil is inside of him. <laughs> I, still can't, I still can't forget that scene. Just like his eyes just started glowing. <laughs> Ron got us. He's like, April Fool's in um, the summertime. Was it July or August? Yeah, so it's been going on for a little while. But it, it has not disappointed in that one little bit. <laughs> With Doug slapping, um, grabbing um, Paulina's buns. <laughs> that was just too funny. And that Mardell has been... <laughs> Ruin um, Abe and Paulina's wedding by having um, Chanel reveal um, that Paulina is Lonnie's mother. So, and then, um, that now she's messing with um, Sean and Belle's marriage by waking up Jan to have her um, look like Belle and Bang <laughs> Sean. And Bell walk in, so I'm really excited. Um, this I'm filming this before Friday, the Christmas Eve episode, so I don't know what happens yet when Bell sees. So, <laughs> and that's really just um going in and out of people now. Um, trying to get um Ben and Sierra's babies. <laughs> the set the Christmas tree on fire. Um, bringing back um. Uh, Turn it into Kristen and um, try to seduce John. <laughs> Turning Susan into a cat. <laughs> that, oh my gosh, that is so freaking hilarious to me. That's one of my favorite parts. But she's just going around causing trouble everywhere. And it's just like nobody's left out pretty much in, in a way. You know, all the interesting people in me. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, a good amount of the interesting people. Definitely given um, Stephen Kayla and Belle and Sean some stuff to do, um, which is really great, which is something I'll get into maybe later in this video or into another video. 
Um, definitely brought some fun and twists to the show. So, yeah, and more devil turtle. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite things for Halloween, she rose the dead with, um, um, Deimos, Nick, and Charlie bringing them back from the dead for Halloween episode Zombies. <laughs> I thought that was really fun. And unsuspected Marlene. <laughs> Mardevil and Nick kissing. I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> I was definitely not seeing that coming, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. That's a little very interesting. <laughs> oh, goodness. It was <laughs> funny, definitely. I think, um, yeah, I think it was good to see Nick as been so long since he died. I'm like, bears. Ooh, that beard. Ooh. How has been very good to you. <laughs> very good to Nick. Sorry, not Blake. Blake is not in how He's very much with us. I'll get into that later. <laughs> that was <laughs> very funny. It was like, they all just like disappeared. I'm like, uh, where you going? Come back. <laughs> but nobody thought that it was like weird. It's like, just the people involved were like, this is weird. Sorry, my nose keeps itching. <laughs> But yeah, definitely a lot of fun. And of course, it's good to say Deimos. Um, Vincent is very, I probably said it wrong, but it was good to see him. Um, he's just such an amazing actor. I grew up watching him on All My Children, and then I was on the day's break when he started on um, Days of Our Lives, so I didn't get to see that much of Deimos' um, craziness. <laughs> but it was definitely good. I wouldn't mind him coming back to the show as a different character, too. Oh my gosh, my computer is making noise. Anyways, um, another great thing <coughs> is Ben and Sierra reunited! Oh lordy, it was almost a year. Um, a good amount of a year since they've been together, you know. We never really saw them together after their wedding, because, you know, um, well, not normally. I'm trying to stop scratching my nose. Because <laughs> after the wedding last year, um, you know, there was the explosion, and then Ben was kidnapped and tortured by Eve that turned it into, like, some soft porn, <laughs> some freaky porn, <laughs> BSM porn. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, Sierra disappeared because Victoria left, but she came back to us tonight! And uh, we saw that Sierra was being held captive in all the glass, and it was great that um, Ben was able to find her, thanks to Susan, and save her, but, you know, um, Sarah got herself in some trouble and ended up blowing up the place, and... Her having amnesia was horrible. I'm like, oh, not another amnesia storyline because Days has beat that shit to death <laughs> over the last few years, especially with, um, well, definitely with Ron's ring. I don't think any other ring has done so much amnesia storylines. <laughs> But, oh, Jordy, it was torture and her falling in love with, or, I don't think, I always thought that she was using Theo to stay away from Ben because she thought it was wrong that she was in love with, uh, the necktie, the necktie killer. <laughs> it didn't, but, I'm very glad it wrapped up pretty fast. It was, like, maybe, like, two months or a little over two months. Maybe not even that long. But they ended up back together. Sierra got a memory. It was funny. <laughs> ben and C um, kidnapped Sierra on her wedding day. <laughs> and then the whole woman took her to the cabin and reminisced. I thought it was funny. Because, <laughs> oh, it was so funny. It was like, um, like a month or so later, I was watching. Um, it was like, when Ben did that, I was like, kind of familiar. I mean, um... Yeah, like a month or two later, I had um I had been binge watching Golden Girls on and off all year, and they showed the final episode where um 
Blanche's ex-husband Stan had kidnapped her on the wedding day. <laughs> In the same way that Ben and Sierra, and I'm like, oh, well, I see. It's obvious that um, Ron is a big Golden Girls fan <laughs> because he um, that with Jan later. <laughs> Sorry, allergies. I know, allergies are the same girl. Life. <laughs> Anyways, but I thought that was cute, and they reunited and had some really hot sex scenes, definitely. Not complaining. Well, I'll get into that later. <laughs> but the reunion and then their little wedding. It was like, oh, they went on their vacation. Their vacation. Their, um, <laughs> um, honeymoon. That's what. They went on their honeymoon. <laughs> <coughs> The next thing is casting. Some really awesome casting this year. Getting Caddy McLean. Oh, Dixie Martin. <laughs> she played Dixie Martin on All My Children. Um, she has the recast Jennifer Horton. Um, was met with a lot of big fans. Uh, people really enjoying it. And some people like, She's not my Jennifer. Whatever. Caddy, um, she fit in with everybody really well. It was like she'd been there for years. <laughs> she had really great chemistry with um Matthew Ashford. I can remember Jack from <laughs> But they have really great chemistry. I wish it would have lasted a little bit longer, but you know, you gotta have drama with Jane and Matt. <laughs> Jane and Matt. Jane and um Jack. <laughs> but it was good. Good to see her. Um but I know a lot of people don't like Melissa Reeves for um her sharing those not so nice tweets. But or was that on Instagram? It was somewhere. Uh but um yeah, her coming back for Christmas is nice too, but you know, long term Bring back Caddy. <coughs> I feel like you enjoy that. Um, another really great recast. While we're talking about recast, it's not in the order. <laughs> um, Dan, I, I'm going to fuck up his last name, so I'm not even going to even say that. <laughs> My nose up. But um, he plays, he's the recast EJ. Um, of course, I'm always worried when they recast a character that I really enjoy, especially if it's um, one half of one of my favorite couples. Uh, I haven't liked some, but I think Dan, I was really worried, but I'm like, he's cute, so at least he'd be nice, something nice to look at. <laughs> and he turned out to be really awesome, it's just like, within his first few scenes, it's like, I can just tell that wow, he's, he's TJ, and I really enjoyed it, he's brought some, a lot of, they done a lot of really great scenes, um, for Dan, and, um, I was worried about his chemistry with Ari, he plays Nicole, and I was not disappointed, <laughs> not disappointed at all, um, you know, the first scene was, like, really didn't, you know, like, Maybe there's something there. Not too bad. <laughs> and then I say, share more scenes. I'm like, this is the greatest thing ever. Yay, he has chemistry. Ah, he too. Yay. <laughs> uh, very, very lovely. And <laughs> I don't know. I think I put that on here somewhere. Um, His fight with Sandy. <laughs> And the Salem Aaron is still like one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> one of my favorite scenes on of the year. It's like I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> it was just a random fight and I'm like, damn, when's the last time we saw this happen <laughs> on the soap? So I thought that was really funny. And he definitely fits in with the Damaris and he just he just feels like EJ. I think that's, he's one of the best recasts um, the show has done in all, in a while, so. Uh. 
and bringing in some black folks. <laughs> Hiring Jackie, the Jackie. I heard that and looked like, what in the world? How did we pull this off? But I thought it was really great. She just, oh, it's probably, you know, it's definitely brought in a lot of fun to the show. It's like, she's brought fun, she's brought drama. It's like one of the um, one of the best characters they've, um, Ron Ryder, definitely. Um, it's like, really great. The Price Town drama, and then, um, <laughs> she's Lonnie's real mama. <laughs> drama! And she has really great chemistry with, um, James, who plays, um, Abe. So I, I thought that was really cute. Um, and me some loving <laughs> was uh was it Eli's mom? Yeah, they broke up forever ago, so it was good. But you know, now they're not together because she wanna lie and shit. <laughs> but this is getting on my nerves. It's just, uh, uh, I said four hours. It's not been four hours. I've not been talking for four hours. <laughs> It was good. They brought in Marla Gibbs as um, Paulina's mother. And I totally forgot her character name. I should have looked that up. Olivia. Olivia. That's her name. That's really cool. Um, little um, 227 reunion. <laughs> I was not around when 227 was on air, but I've seen some episodes. <laughs> I um, I did enjoy the show. And so seeing them reunited, I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. It's like, definitely. Um, and, you know, I'm sure that's brought in some new viewers or, you know, maybe not long-time viewers, but, you know, people who definitely will check out the show. <laughs> Another great thing is creating Chanel, Pollyanna's daughter. <laughs> oh, lordy, this child. <laughs> definitely one of my favorite characters. Also, um, bringing in the fun and drama, her coming to town and marrying Xander. <laughs> for his money, and then found out he don't got no money. <laughs> and then her friendship with Allie, um, maybe, thought was maybe going somewhere? Mm -hmm. Could go somewhere? <laughs> Definitely. And she's just really fun and spunky, and has, um, which I bring up too, with the, um, aging of Johnny and Allie, which is really good. Um, Brian and Carson Boatman and Lindsay Arnold, they're really, um, samey kids. <laughs> but, yeah, it was weird with, um, Chanel, um, Precious Way came in as Chanel and then she got another, um, show. And that hurt me so bad because I loved her. But, uh, Raven Bowen has definitely kept the spunk <laughs> and the fun of Chanel alive. Um, another really awesome recast, you know, you know. And she has really nice chemistry with Lindsay, so. And that's another thing with the triangle between the two. You know, Chanel thinking that she's in love or she might want something with Allie, but then ends up falling for her brother. And now they're married. <laughs> so you'll find that out when I review this week's episode. Yeah, I thought it was like really hot. I'm like, what? Twins aboard the girl wanting the same girl? Could you tell that? That's definitely something I've never seen on the soap. Um, I've never seen it on a show. Maybe some other primetime show might have done it, but I've never seen it or heard about it. So it's um died down some because they really haven't spent much time together. It's just been really it's just been um Johnny and Chanel. So when Allie finds out, that should be interesting. But she's with Trip. Nothing against that there. Um, oh Lord. Lucas. I don't remember his last name. Um, but they're boring and Trip was boring. So yeah. 
Um, well, I already mentioned this, bring him back, um, EJ the Bear, which is really cool. EJ is one of my favorite characters. Uh, it's really sad when James Scott left and the fact that he never wanted to come back to the show. Because he stopped acting, but Dan stepped in the role has definitely made it a lot, a lot of fun. <laughs> In the Zany Fun, um, Angel 2.0. Chemistry is amazing. Oh, another one. Lumi Reunion! Yes! 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 Well, they're not together, but the affair was really hot. And then, um, being locked up because of Christian. <laughs> that was really hot. <laughs> I'm like, yay! It's definitely oh, Lordy, Brian Ari. We haven't really had Lumi like together over a decade or more since the last time they banged. So, but the chemistry is definitely still there. I'm just a little disappointed that they didn't have them break a bed. Because <laughs> you know how Ron likes to, um, reminisce about the past or bring up the past, you know, porks or whatever, so let me break in the bed and would have been fun. <laughs> but we didn't get that, but that's cool. And of course, having Sammy back I means she's doing fucked up shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> Sammy blowing up Eric and Nicole's wedding was amazing. I feel bad for the Erica fans. Cause I don't have feels when your favorite couple is over <laughs> or not together anymore. <laughs> but Sammy breaking up the marriage was um, classic Sammy. It was really good to see Sammy in action because for my cats are doing something downstairs. <laughs> but over the last. Oh, the years that she's returned, she's been all oh, EJ, EJ, EJ. So pretty pathetic. But this is very sadly as really cool. Um, it's pretty shitty of her for embarrassing her brother in front of everybody, all their friends, family, and stuff. But paying Xander to admit that they had um drunken sex together was really funny. And of course, she got her revenge pretty quickly with the letter um, <laughs> that uh, Sammy threw in the fire. Kristen had wrote to EJ, and Sammy got it. She threw in the fire, sort of ripping it up. <gasps> Noob, noob, no, uh, Sammy. The Lucas took it out the fire, and then he was going to give it to EJ, but he decided not to. He threw it in the trash, and Philip's like, oh, I got you, bro. <laughs> it took it to Nicole, who took it to EJ. <laughs> that shit is so funny to me. It's like, oh, I got your back. <laughs> so it was really cool. Classic Sammy and Nicole fighting, and then... Um, her getting kidnapped and come back to see EJ and Ben with Nicole's, like, vintage, but hilarious. Oh, EJ for breaking up the fight. And then later, um, Allie breaking up the fight. <laughs> oh, lordy. Um, another thing is the Days Are Alive specials. Yes, I definitely love the Beyond Salem. It was really fun. It's like a mini series if you haven't watched it. It's on um, Pika. That was over the summertime. It was five episodes. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was really cool because they brought back characters we haven't seen in a while, like Austin Carey, um, Will Sunny. Um, oh, Lordy, what is it? Shane? Shane came back too. And it was a lot of fun and it was funny. <laughs> they had new sets. Um yeah, they um they've been renewed for two years. That was really awesome. And then this coming out was definitely cool. Um and um oh yeah, my boy Leo. He saved the day. <laughs> oh my god, the drag. <laughs> 
the drag queen <laughs> is definitely hilarious. I swear, Chad would make a perfect drag queen. <laughs> that was so funny. Very adventurous. And Bob Rack, Eileen Davis as Kristen. She definitely plays bitchy, sexy Kristen very well. She moved back in the, um, <laughs> she moved back into the, um, role very well. <laughs> we're going to see her, too. And then, um, of course, last week, or the week before last, um, no, it was last week, um, with a very Salem Christmas. <laughs> Leo saved the day again! <laughs> and if you haven't watched that, check out my reaction to that. <laughs> but that was really fun to watch too. It was, um, it was really cool that not only NBC is, um, you know, believing in days and um, Peacock too. So it was really cool because um, it's not only just entertaining days fans, but possibly bringing in some more days fans. With the specials and everything, is a good way to introduce them to some characters. But I hope that next year they do um, know, at least one more. Why not? That would be fun. Maybe a Halloween episode, mm. a Halloween special, or something. Or last blast crew. I'm just saying. <laughs> but it's definitely fun. It shows that there's still. You know, not just um, soap fans um, being involved with the soap, um, with the show. But, you know, they got pretty um, articles. Um, other news sources were covering it and talking about it. I think it's really made the other soaps maybe want to um, step up the game. <laughs> Because the CBS shows are on Paramount, so they should maybe look into doing a special. And um, GH is this on, it's just on Hulu. So, think about it. Um, another thing, um, I'm almost done. This is almost 30 minutes. I didn't mean to talk this long, but you know, when I get excited, you know. <laughs> Bringing back Jan Spears, my bitchy turned psycho. <laughs> Definitely fun to have her back around. When Sophia's having a nervous girl, I'm doing a video. I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> but it was very awesome to see her back, and um, it's it sucked because she had left town. Um, before, um, last year she had left town before, um, she went to, um, Shady Pines. That's another, um, Golden Girls reference. <laughs> um, and Golden Girls, it was a retirement home for old folks. Old folks place. <laughs> and in Days of Our Lives, they, it's a mental hospital. <laughs> Yeah, she left town before um, Chloe had came back to town. Chloe and um, Philip. So, she was disappointed. I wanted to see her interact with school girl. And I got my wish. <laughs> Lordy, she killed um, Charlie Dale and tried to frame. Um, she tried to frame Belle for it. So, she's still trying to get shot. She got a admire chance. She's very consistent, definitely. <laughs> and um, Kristen had kidnapped Chloe uh, to keep her away from Brady. Stuck her in the trunk, but then she got arrested. <laughs> and then Jan was trying to run away and found Chloe in the um, trunk and decided to oh, use her as a hostage and. For Philip to give her some money so she can leave town. <laughs> so I was like, yay, yeah, can I wish I could make it to interact with her? It was really cool. But then she ended up in another coma. Oh my god, Lordy. 
Poor Jan, she spent so much of her adult life in the cold. <laughs> First Mimi, then there's a there's a third coma. Uh Lordy. <laughs> but it was definitely fun to see her. And now she's back again. Red Devil turned her into Belle. <laughs> oh my gosh, we'll see yesterday. Um Thursday, the twenty third. Uh twenty third episode with her pretending to be Belle. Hilarious. I hope that she um comes out of her coma and comes back again. Maybe they can do like a, a storyline where she's actually sane for a little while and then turns crazy. I don't know. I don't know about my stomach is rumbling and I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. I swear this is my last day. <laughs> this is my last day and I will say one of my favorite things of the year is romance. In the afternoon, takes you back to the olden days where um, we got to see couples together being romantic. Uh, and I guess COVID had um, shamed <laughs> that for a while last year, but this year really brought in the hot stuff. Definitely lots of fun, um, uh, fun stuff. And um, the only so I watch daily besides days is your hospital and they don't really focus on rumors. They're very depressing. So <laughs> So watching days like showcase love and romance and affairs which <laughs> we were talking about Lumi. Definitely hot stuff. Um yeah, you had um Sin, Lumi, Angel Janel, um, Tally, um, Paige, um, Ilani, um, Gabriella, and even the return of, um, or I said, reuniting <laughs> Kate and Roman. We haven't seen any sex scenes with them, <laughs> but they definitely had, Roman's been trying to get back in Kate's paintings for sure. <laughs> I never understood why they never put them back together after John came back from the or the the, the horrible Newsom storyline. Oh lord. From my late teens, early twenties storyline. Oh Lord that was just horrible. But anyways, I never understood after all these years. They just always had this really great passion for each other. Well, of course, I love Stefano and Kate. That was a lot of fun, too. But, you know, everybody else is like, no, Roman and Kate. But it's really good to see Roman some more. He's just like, it's like, how does Roman stay around? He's like, he's like in and out for years. And he never gets cut or anything. But it's good for him to, um... Use him some. <laughs> yeah, and Sin is having enough sex for the whole town. <laughs> uh, yeah, got to see Lumi and Angel. Whew, hot. Yeah, um, Chanel and Ali just kissed them, but um, Johnny and Chanel definitely went all aware after the wedding drama. <laughs> And Elani having uh, all over each other. They're trying to make another set of twins, I guess. <laughs> but really, you want to see some hot scenes, watch uh, Beyond Santa. Oh, God, I can't remember what episode it is. But they just went at it on the couch. <laughs> I'm like, hey, y'all, come <laughs> They're like, no, fuck it. Um, we're not in front of a camera right now. <laughs> But Lamont and, um, oh, Lordy. Oh, Sal. Sal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. I forgot your name. But, you know, they still have really hot chemistry. Too bad we didn't really get to see their twins very much. But we did get to see, um, one a few weeks ago when Abe went to go see, um, Eli. So, it's so cute. I hired two twin girls to play them and they were adorable. So that's a little good thing I like. We got to see some 
children. <laughs> it's like it's always like blankets or um, cabbage patch dolls or just random strollers. <laughs> But that was cute. Oh, I just remember. Um, Allie and um, Chanel opening Sweet Bits. I thought that was really cute. They have their own little business. It would be nice to see the inside of it. They're always outside selling stuff. I'm like, does the inside not work? <laughs> Maybe they're modeling or whatever. <laughs> But that's really good. Um, and uh, speaking of remodeling, the Kiriakis Mansion looks like shit. I guess that goes in the worst. <laughs> but the uh, um, that the mirror mansion, ooh, that shit is sexy. I love it, definitely. And I love that they still keep um Stefano's um portrait in there. <laughs> The only person we can't bring back from the dead, unfortunately. Rock, where are you? <laughs> okay, I'm done talking. <laughs> well, that's what I enjoy the most about days. There's probably other stuff, but that's the only stuff I can remember. <laughs> Maybe next year I will take notes every, um, make notes all over, all through the year of what I, um, what's going on so I could um, do an even longer video. <laughs> this longest video I've done in a while, so don't sue me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I will film the worst and you'll see that in, uh, I'll post the best and then I'll post the worst a few days later. Giving you the opportunity to watch this movie. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. I always appreciate it. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Love ya.